I mean, you, you, you turn on the TV in the daytime and you've got the poverty porn shows that are very subtle, some of them. But then after the poverty porn shows, what do you have? You have the property porn, Homes in the Sun. Yes, so yeah. the first thing you see is, oh, look at these people that are living in, you know, subletting their council flat and ripping off the state. And then the next thing is like, you know, have your dream home. So from mm. both sides, you know, people are just being conditioned to think in a certain way. And the desire tenure in this country is home ownership. And I don't think we're going to get away from that. But until we have more value placed in state housing, we're going to be in this mess for a long time. One of the actors behind this, so obviously are the banks and the fire sectors, financial insurance and real estate businesses, uh, and they push private debt very hard because that's their business, that's yes, their stock yeah, and trade. Yeah. Um, you caught up with Danny Dawling in your film. This is what he's got to say about uh, you trying to use the market to determine the meritocracy or mm. uh, make a housing uh, market function. Housing doesn't work if provided through the market anywhere in the world. People are not able to fund the building and maintenance of their own housing because it requires an income above the average. And you cannot all have an income above the average. All decent countries in the world have a large part of their housing supplied through social housing and it makes everything work better. Not dissimilar to a man called Michael Gove, who, uh, one education minister said, um, I want everyone to be above average. Yes, yes. <laughs> how yes, how yes. can you do that, Michael? Yeah, I mean, statistically, it's impossible. Right. How, then, do you begin to start... Is it a public awareness thing? How do you begin to start unlocking this? I mean, you've gone out and made a wonderful film about it. You've written extensively about it and campaigned. How do you begin to start mm. unlocking it? I mean, I think what you know, would be a, a, a start not necessarily the entire solution, is for key workers, nurses, care workers, young teachers to be given a council tenancy. Because if we see, you know, people that are valued in society, which are nurses, which are young teachers, which are care workers, it could begin to transform the way the wider public view social housing. Because as we were saying, the NHS is beloved in this country by people, it's cherished. So are nurses. And if we see, you know, the type of people that live in social housing are nurses, our care workers, our teachers, then maybe it begins to encourage people to think, oh, hang on a minute, it's not all, you know, benefit scroungers and criminals and drug dealers on estates. It's the people that are the very bedrock of our society. <laughs> <laughs>